Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I am joined with Minho. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have to make this lovely adventure we call... <laughs> life. <laughs> yeah. So the wheel decided Minho could have free will again. And Minho, I guess, hates me a lot. I'm free. Because, um, why don't you just say it? Alright, this time we're gonna be reading, uh, SpongeBob X Reader. What? A classic. What? And, uh, how did you find this book exactly? Uh, I searched in SpongeBob. <laughs> I'm glad you're honest. <laughs> Well, I wanted to see if um, there was any Spongebob fanfics, and I was not disappointed. I think I'd rather be disappointed that there wasn't any than actually read one. <laughs> oh, this is number 15 in the Spongebob tag. That means there's 14 other <laughs> books that are better. <laughs> I don't know how Supposedly. To oh, God. I love the, the cover I'm, art. <laughs> I'm curious, what's number one? I'm gonna look at this. Alright, you look at that while I read the description, I guess. Label complete by oh, Spongebob. Of course. Spongebob biggest fan. Spongebob x Sandy is the uh, number one. <laughs> that makes sense. Add that to the wheel? I... <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea, maybe. Uh, this also okay, might number be three is just cursed. Uh, okay, no, hold not... on, I'm gonna look at these. No, no, don't look don't at Don't look it. at My them? Eyes. Okay, what fine. a terrible day to have eyes. <laughs> mm, I wish I had no ears, so I wouldn't have heard that. <laughs> Alright, uh, the description reads, An adorable and touching short created by Spongebob's biggest fan, starring the one and only Spongebob Squarepants. In this fanfiction, you will be actually experiencing how a relationship with a certain yellow porous seep sponge would look like. By Spongebob Big Fan. Update three years later, I cringe so bad at the description, well y'all can now join me. <laughs> There's even a cringe what? tag. I forgot. There's a fucking hentai. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? I mean, hentai is... Something I don't know about. I mean, I, I know don't what it is, but history. like... <laughs> I have no idea what it means if you tag something as a... Usually, I feel like if you were to tag hentai on Wattpad, uh, the, the mature label should be next to it. <laughs> but it's not. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I guess because Squidward's in it, and he has tentacles? I don't know. <laughs> Oh. There's okay. a okay. I don't know. Um. Also, this might be a short one because this is estimated to take 16 minutes and only four readable chapters, and the other one is hinting at a sequel to this book. So maybe if we love it enough. Maybe. All good. We can go speed through it because yeah. I'm sure we'll have a grand time. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is um. Okay. Writer's notes. Hey y'all, this is gonna be a short three to four chapter Spongebob X Reader, so enjoy. Uh, we need to come up with the name. Hmm. Also, uh... I just straight up just called myself out by opening up the POV replacer, and it just has my name in there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well... Alright, this one we're gonna have Phoenix. But <laughs> No, I don't want to be part of this! Hey, I chose the book. I feel like we should do like that, because this takes nope. place in the ocean, so maybe we nope. should come up with a, a sea pun. Um, Phoenix. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing my name. Phoenix. Phoenix. It's a sea pun. Okay, fine. It is a sea pun. Hey, you asked for a sea pun, I give you a sea pun. I'm quick. So I'm guess S E A N I X. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if that means something. Phoenix. No, it doesn't. Good. Okay. Just anything. Okay. Yeah, it's just a water phoenix. 
That sounds kind of cool, actually. Yeah. That's a good username, Water Phoenix. Not, not Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix just, I don't know. There's there's something about that name just that just sounds off. It rubs me the wrong way. <laughs> it rubs me the wrong way. Alright, last name. Weed. Um, Perfect. What is it? Phoenix Weed. Weed. Wait, is it L slash N? Yeah. I don't know if it okay. appears, but if it does, then we're ahead of the game. Phoenix Weed. Yeah. Alright, I love that there's a thousand comic comments on the uh the, the author's note. <laughs> Even when there's one thousand comments, y'all are down bad. Wait, there's a thousand comments on the author's note? Yeah. I don't know. Where's the author's <laughs> note? It's right at the beginning of the uh the chapter. Oh. Wait, how do you see Oh, okay, I just noticed a yeah. little one K. Alright, um, Oh, because this is your book, oh, you should read first. Well, I think we should value equality in this society. <laughs> should we? <laughs> should we really? Yes. Is there any equality in the in the bikini bottom? There is. Always. Alright, fine. All sponges, squirrels, fish, crabs, and starfish are alike. I have a dream. Alright, um... Give me... Do you want heads or tails? Um... Tails. Alright, tails you read, heads I read. Wait, what was yours again? <laughs> <laughs> did you say tails? You sure you're not drunk? No, I'm just stupid. Alright, did you say you, tails you read? And heads I read? I said tails. Okay, alright, I read then. Because I landed on heads. Oh damn, I'm like really lucky with it. Like... I feel like the past I haven't been reading first. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright. It's been two years since I left Bikini Bottom. The last time I visited the underwater civilization, things were complicated. Well, if you take out the parts where I got a jellyfish at the jelly fields with Spongebob and Patrick, learn a little bit karate with Sandy, and work at the Krusty Krab, then it's complicated. There's 369 on this one paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> Comments. <laughs> There's 595 on it next. I hate it. <laughs> I love it. It got complicated on the last name I visit the Kinibana. You see, during the vacation, I kind of, um, started developing a crush on Spongebob. Well, could you blame me? <laughs> 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 hey, so cute and yellow and has eyes that are bluer than the sky. <laughs> and C put together. <laughs> Not to mention his optimistic personality. I knew that we were made for each other, but things only got more complicated from there. Isn't he, like, canon to be asexual? What? <laughs> but, yeah, Switchbob. He's canon to be asexual. Was that, like, ever listed? Mm-hmm. It was like, um... I mean, makes sense, I don't but... think they made an episode of it. But during Pride Month, uh, Nickelodeon put out, like, a tweet for, like, Celebration, and Spongebob was on there. Alright, got it. I'll list it in my facts. Yeah. And sponges are asexual. <laughs> I think it's, like, canon with, like, sea sponges in the, um, in the wild. It's... I thought he was, like, a normal sponge, though. I mean, I don't know. That's just how, I have like, no idea. Sea I don't sponges know Spongebob are. Spongebob lore. Sea sponges can be male and female at the same time, so they don't need another sponge to reproduce. So technically, uh, they're all asexual. I see. Anyway, on the morning of the last day, I was packing my last minute items of the journey home when my pal- Sandy Cheeks- Sandy Cheeks- wait. Oh, uh, with my pal- I <laughs> You got it. Sandy and I have been friends for a long time. Being mammals and all, we had to look out for each other. So she let me stay in her tree dome. As we packed the last minute items, I could feel a tear sliding past my eyes and rolling down my cheek. I knew I couldn't leave a kidney bond without shedding some tears. Sandy knows and suddenly changed the sudden change in my behavior. <laughs> you gotta you gotta dub it. You gotta dub it. I could try to do a country accent. <laughs> do it. I, I can sure try. Are you a rat partner? Howdy, partner. Why why the long face? 
Sandy asked me, whistling, That's pretty good. whistling past me a, a tissue to wipe my eyes. I mean, to be fair, we do live in the South. <laughs> I have to, like... <laughs> I mean, I'm helping my people when I work, like... What is it? What is it? A grocery store one that like, public shit. Like, uh -huh. you always get country kind of people, like Southern, so you kind of, like, adapt to what the customer is. So I end up using uh -huh. y'all. <laughs> and I don't like it. <laughs> Hey, these southerners are nice, though. Not the ones They're I nice met. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, some of them are real dickheads. Rip. Oh, it's nothing, Sandy. I lied. Well, that ain't true. Then why are you crying for? Sandy stated. I was stuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good accent. That's why I've, uh, it's, it's That's actually, why you're laughing? I'm Sandy. You're actually Sandy. I'm yeah. meeting Sandy in person right now. No, you should have like a picture of her next to you on your computer. <laughs> I'm actually listening to SpongeBob background music right now, so it's it's really looking like oh a show God. right now. <laughs> I need to my tail. <laughs> <laughs> I was stuck. Sandy knew something was wrong. What could I do? Then I realized that it was my friend that I could trust. I had to spill the beans. Uh, Sandy, could I talk to you? I quietly spoke. Sure thing. I can tell from... I can tell your old pal Sandy anything. Sandy chimed. Thanks, Sandy. Hey, what are friends for? Yeah, what do you want to talk about? Sandy sat next to me. I... Well, the reason I'm crying is because I'm gonna miss all of you guys. Bikini Bottom is such a friendly neighborhood with lots of adoring sea creatures. I said with a, with a smile. Aw, oh, shucks. I'm gonna miss you too, partner. We are close to them, bark a tree. The water. <laughs> Is that why you cry? Sandy said in her Texas accent. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to all the Texas people out there. We don't know if this is accurate or not. No, it is. <laughs> I am Sandy Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I am Sandy. I'm Dirty Dan. No, I'm Dirty Dan. <laughs> I'm Dirty Dan. <laughs> Well, you see, since I came to Bikini Bottom, I, um, you're, you're the first person I'm going to tell, so please promise me not to tell anyone, I pleaded. Well, sure, if it's a secret or something, Sandy promised. Well, um, I, I, I love SpongeBob, my <laughs> skirt, with tears on the verge of breaking through the barriers of my lashes. Well, God, no, you gotta screech it, you gotta I don't wanna that. do that. <laughs> I do not want everyone in the house that I'm living in to know what I'm reading. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah, that, that... Look, I already read Smut for this channel, I'm not reading that. Hey, you were reading that Smut pretty passionately. Yeah, what the... What's the fucking meme? It was like, I can excuse racism, but I draw the line to animal cruelty. You can excuse racism! <laughs> 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 Well, oh sh. <laughs> well, sure. Oh wait, fuck. Well, golly, I always knew that you lacked SpongeBob, but not like this. Uh, Sandy smiled warm-heartedly. Yeah, well, he is cute. I blushed. Well, you gotta tell him, or you'll never know if he loves you back. Sandy advised me as I went from scarlet red to pale white. T -t -t tell him, I can't do that. What if he doesn't like me back? <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know if you don't tell him. Sandy whispered back as she saw my extent of the tears flowing over my cheeks and down my bare skin. Fighters know what a sad way to end for a chapter. Hope you guys like it. Love you from SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob, biggest fan. Yeah. Do you think they're a big fan of SpongeBob? <laughs> no, they can't be. Uh, okay, I think they're more of a Squidward fan. <laughs> I said, uh, one of the comments, I said, Oh my god, you love her, and looked at the imaginary camera, and I said, I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> Feels bad. Dude, I've done that sometimes, where I look up from what I'm writing and look at the imaginary camera, and be like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> like, I'm doing, like, shitty YouTube commentary, you know? <laughs> the regret. <laughs> yeah. Okay, chapter two, let's see. Chapter two, I know you care about me, right? Writer's note. Part two is here, guys. Whoop, whoop. 
There's a lot of comments on these. Maybe they're very passionate. Uh, maybe they have other books that are like big hits, and people are like, "Shit, if they're gonna write SpongeBob actually, we gotta hop on this train." <laughs> <laughs> maybe they're just fans of SpongeBob biggest fan. They're just SpongeBob biggest fan fans. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> fanception. <laughs> Okay, uh, I guess you're right, Sandy, but what if he turns me down and doesn't want to be friends, I shrieked. Wait, do you want me to use Sandy's voice for the rest of this? <laughs> do, do you want to read it? No, I can do- I, I mean, I play the part. I'm an actor. <laughs> Alright, you got it, you got it then. Oh, don't worry. SpongeBob isn't the kind of guy that- that would want to end a relationship with. Sandy, Sandy reassured me. Yeah, I hope so. Gee, we better get in the boat before the aeroplane leaves us. Aeroplane? These guys are British. Confirmed. <laughs> uh, I fucking hate the British. <laughs> <laughs> what a bottle of water. Before the aeroplane leaves us, I remembered. Don't worry, pal. I got everything packed, and I'll invite everyone to come. Even SpongeBob. Sandy smirked, making me blush. Well, wait, does that mean I trembled? Yeah, you gotta tell him before you leave. I was afraid you'd say that, Sandy. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Now remember to wear your air helmet at all times when you leave the air dome. Tree dome. Shit. <laughs> I don't know my own <laughs> house name. Shit. <laughs> Shit. 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 <laughs> the, the air dome. Shit. My bad. <laughs> I'm at the tree Sandy dome. Wore <laughs> Sandy warned me whilst she placed her air suit over her bikini. Okay. I sighed as I put the air helmet on my head and got into the boat. Sandy got inside the boat as well and started the engine to drive me to the airport. We both sat in silence for about two minutes, just. So, you want to listen to some music? Sandy smiled. Yeah, sure, Sandy. I love music, I smiled back. Sandy put the radio on and turned it to Bikini Bottom FM. As the songs played, I started to sing heartily with it. Then the DJ at the BBFM radio station said that one of his listeners had a special announcement. Hey, all you crazy BBFM lover listeners, SpongeBob SquarePants has a special announcement for a very special friend of his. He wants to wish them the best and safest journey back home. What a sweet request, the DJ said. I just sat there, staring at the radio. Did SpongeBob actually go to the trouble of actually making a special request on BBFM, I thought aloud. He sure did. Ain't he sweet? Sandy teased. Yeah. I whispered. I then took out my iPhone. <laughs> I was just like, the thought of it, he just manually takes out an iPhone. Just a piece of futuristic technology. Yeah. I thought they had shell phones. Yeah, they I mean, she does come up, she's a mammal, right? So she comes up from the surface. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, so she just put her iPhone 17 down. <laughs> <laughs> she got the iPhone while they're on clam phones. Yeah. Uh, I then took out my iPhone, and the first thing I saw were messages from all my friends. Patrick, Mr. Krabs, Pearl, Mrs. Buff, Larry the Lobster, Plankton, Karen, even Squidward. But no Spongebob? Well, at least I'm going to see him at the airport. Sandy then broke my thoughts by saying, We are here. What? I'm not ready yet. Oh god, um, I blurted aloud. Is there, Is a, there problem? a problem? Oh, shit. I cannot believe you stole my lines. <laughs> oh, I, now I gotta do it. Is there a problem? <laughs> You'll never work in Hollywood again. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, say it again. Is there a problem? Sandy asked. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm nervous. I am gonna tell him, aren't I? Well, don't worry, pal. I got your back. Sandy said whilst getting out the boat with me. So, where is everyone you invited? I asked nervously. Well, I invited them to come around 4.30, and now it's 4, so they should be here in 30 minutes. Sandy told me whilst I trembled. So, in that 30 minutes, I should check in my bags, I told Sandy. Yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't want to miss my flight. Sandy chuckled. I chuckled back as I got my bag suitcases out of the trunk. Here, let me give you a hand. Sandy smiled. Thank you, Sandy. I chirped. No problem, partner. 
So Sandy and I unloaded the boat and headed into the airport to check in the bags. 30 minutes later, Sandy and I waited in the waiting area for the past 15 minutes as the queue for checking in the bags was really short. We then noticed a gaggle of sea creatures wave at us in the distance. It wasn't clear to tell who was who as they were all quite far away and living underwater it does blur your vision if you look at objects from far away. Oh shoot, given that scientific knowledge, okay. <laughs> we're learning in this Spongebob X reader. <laughs> we're learning, we're learning in Spongebob. Spongebob academic show confirmed. <laughs> As the sea creatures ran towards us, I could finally make out who was who. I could see Patrick, Squidward, Mr. Krabs, Larry, Mrs. Puff, Pearl, Plankton, Karen, all wearing fancy clothes and holding gifts. Uh, Pearl and Mr. Hmm. Hope we're hope we aren't late. Pearl and Mr. Krabs shouted. Nope, just five minutes late. But that's a okay. I giggled. Well. You're a- <laughs> okay. Squidward voice, hold on. Oh, I got this shit, hold on. I need- no, no, no I got it. Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> Just need to take a swig of this. <laughs> <laughs> While you're a bear laughs, Squidward mm -hmm. snorted, but then bursted into laughter as I did. Squidward is a pretty cool squid. Wait, I meant octopus. Sorry, Squidward. He has a great sense of humor, and we both also share many of the same interests, like art, for instance. He's not one of my best friends, to be honest. I know Squidward. I'm such a hoot, I bragged sarcastically. Wait, everybody, where's Spongebob? Larry shouted, whilst interrupting the bond between Squidward and myself. You... Try to do a Mrs. Puff voice. Oh, Neptune! I don't know actually what she sounds <laughs> oh, like in no. the fucking. Oh, no. Neptune! SpongeBob! <laughs> SpongeBob! You're fine. No, wait. <laughs> what does she say? I don't know. I, I feel like I never really. Well, she's only one of the boating episodes where he's trying to get his license. She's like very. She has like a very resigned voice, just defeated from trying to teach SpongeBob. Yeah. She just gives up on. <laughs> Oh, Neptune. Oh, Sp Neptune. SpongeBob, oh no, you didn't invite him, did you? <laughs> Mrs. Puff freaked out, reminding herself about SpongeBob behind the wheel. Everyone ignored Mrs. Puff's negative behavior and searched for the yellow porous sponge. Oh no, what if he has forgotten about me leaving? What if I never see him again? I whispered as I began to feel acrimony build up in my stomach. Finally, a lonely tear leaked its way through the barrier of my eye and dripped onto my cheek. Writer's note, I'm literally crying. Crying face, crying face, crying face, crying face. Love ya, kiss face. I love SpongeBob, biggest fan. I love this comment that says, FFS, I'm only nine and I'm reading this crowd. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's one week ago. This man is nine right now. <laughs> He's literally not! <laughs> Confession <laughs> into depression. I don't like it already. <laughs> oh wait, give me like 20 seconds. Okay. Be right back. I guess something. Alrighty. How's our how's our room again? I just like unmute and then I'm just it's just playing Sunspob's sad music. <laughs> 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 no, that's the chase song. Oh, what's this? I've never heard sp sad SpongeBob music. You know, it's like the. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh yeah, the song that goes. <laughs> Copyright claim. What's it called? The Hawaiian cocktail. What? That's that's the name of the song. Yeah, apparently. Alright, learn wow, something Spongebob new. actually has some kind of good songs, if you think about it. Damn. <laughs> I, I messed up, and now you're gone. Wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Okay. Oh shit, my mouse is fucking up. Okay. Ten minutes later, I guess. 
God damn, I got actually- I don't know how to do a Spongebob voice. Hmm, alright. I'm um, ready, I'm ready! <laughs> <laughs> I can try the I can try the SpongeBob voice since you're reading the uh, since yeah. you're reading Mrs. Puff and Sandy. Okay, you, you go ahead, try. All right, let me mute and make myself sound like an idiot first, <laughs> and then I'll, I'll go ahead. Wait, you gotta unmute for that. You already do. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Big boy, <laughs> shout into the atmosphere. SpongeBob! Everyone shouted was running up to him. I kind of hid myself behind the crowd. Hey, everybody! Am I late? SpongeBob asked. No, SpongeBob. You're just, uh, one, <laughs> no, two, I read, Patrick, seven, I got this. five. Patrick said while trying to count. Wait, you're, you're called Mr. Krabs and Stardew Valley. You gotta read for Mr. Krabs, dude. Oh, you're so right. Dude, I'm clever like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fifteen minutes late, me boy. What took you, laddie? Mr. Krabs said in his sailor talk. Well, I went to the store to buy these flowers. Where's... Spongebob said while trying to... While trying to... Wait. Said wits getting off... Oh, okay. <laughs> getting off of me! <laughs> <laughs> I had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. I spoke with a red blush all over my face. Blush off. Also blushing when he saw me. That made me giggle. Here you go. Blush both smiled as he placed the bouquet of a Shut up. up. <laughs> they're, they're beautiful, but thanks. <laughs> I said <laughs> with sniffing the bouquet. Don't mention it. By the way, you look stunning. He told me what the heavy red flushed his dimple and across his face and he stared. I'm never dubbing <laughs> again. <laughs> you like resigned from the Wattpad book club after this? <laughs> and my yellow dress and then back into my- You're the one who picked this, by the way. You're torturing fine. yourself. <laughs> okay, fine. But I didn't- I guess I didn't read- Everything. Yeah, you, you can at least do a lazy skim and see if any words shoot out at you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. You look cute as always. I commented with a small giggle. Then there was a speech from the airplane staff that filled the atmosphere. Attaching all boarding passengers on airplane SBSP7 must now board the plane now. I repeat, anyone boarding the plane SBSPS. You must board the plane now. The airplane staff repeat on the. What does that say? The so airport. The airport staff repeated in a sophisticated. Yes, exactly. Plus <laughs> one. <laughs> I looked at my Wow, second. you're very sophisticated for reading that. Thank. I don't know what that means. Thank you, though. <laughs> I looked it at my. It means second. like complicated plus smart. Let's go. I got that big brain going on. Big brain. I, I looked at my ticket and went back to all my friends. I knew I was crying, I was sure of it. I had lost control of my behavior. All I wanted to do was cry, but not from Spongebob. I couldn't help it. Tears flooded my face <laughs> as my eyes were red from crying. I- Wait, 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 we're a mammal, right? And we have this one that we take. Are we just gonna, like, drown in our own tears? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he, he, they're like wearing a uh, like a helmet, like Sandy. Yeah. I saw everyone looking at each other, not knowing how to comfort me. I closed my eyes, pretending not to notice as I cried some more. All of a sudden, I felt a pair of arms cut on my waist. I lifted my, I lifted my heart slowly, as I noticed a yellow blob filled with pores. Please don't cry. I want you to be happy on your journey back. <laughs> Spongebob told me. Uh, I, I just, I just gonna miss all of you, especially you, Spongebob. I, I whispered as This is the stupidest <laughs> shit I've ever read. <laughs> it really, it really just upped the pace here in this next chapter. Yeah, this is it. The moment that I could change my life forever. The confession that would change our lives forever. I had to make it last. Um, Spongebob, can I tell you something? I, I asked sweetly. Yeah, sure. You can tell me anything. Okay, uh, Spongebob chirped. 
I, 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 uh, uh, I love, oh, oh, what the heck? No, 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 redo, redo. I'm not. You gotta, you gotta do it again. He is three minutes of this. What do you mean? I think reverse, I did pretty reverse. well. <laughs> cha cha, real smooth. <laughs> I, 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 love you, uh, oh, what the heck, I love you, Spongebob, I shouted as I took my air helmet and I lifted the, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you for making this, you could have picked the Scooby-Doo thing. <laughs> and I would have been like, yo, this shit kind of good, but no, you picked the Spongebob next reader. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and then the little yellow sponge high in the air and kissed the smooth soft lips. The gas in the background from everyone that can be heard. No one was expecting me to kiss Spongebob. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it either. <laughs> <laughs> I, I continue to kiss Spongebob. I can feel his warmth against me. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> my, my mind was set. It was definitely the sponge of my dreams. The sponge of your dreams? This is awful. I then broke the kiss as I started to feel a bit suffocated from not wearing an air helmet underwater. I quickly put it back on. W wait, if you took it off, wouldn't it just fill with water? Um. Next? Uh, 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 go, go next, go next. Next question? Yeah. I quickly put it back on. I, I looked back at SpongeBob's face and saw that he was blushing completely and was a little startled. Oh god, I can tell by that look. He's gonna reject me. Oh damn it! Gets on a plane, <laughs> goes back to Texas. <laughs> I'd rather go back knowing that we were still good friends and knowing he hates me and doesn't want to even be my friend. I thought as I was, I was on the verge of fainting. I quickly grabbed my bags off the floor and, and ran to the boarding, the air aeroplane. I didn't look back. I didn't want the past to haunt me. In the distance, I can hear a high pitched voice shouting. <laughs> It was, but it was too late. My actions were done and I had to face the consequences. I boarded the plane and flew back home. I remember the, the events of today's episode. Crying my eyes out. <laughs> Same. Jumping out of my cage and now I'm feeling just fine. Hey, yo! <laughs> Writer's note, I'm crying. I'm crying on the inside. <laughs> Alright. This is the last look, chapter. Look at these comments. I wanna- I wanna see all these comments. Oh, there's so many comments. It's crazy. I know. Nah, he was feeling easy. I'm disappointed that it's in Spotify. I not a chance. He would never. Confession to depression. Yeah. I need to log off because what- What is- What does STG stand for? I think they spelt what is this wrong. Okay, so I'm a boy watching Spongebob now. Because it's just so many. Uh, well, are they, like, continuing the show right now? Like, yeah, is that, it still ongoing? Yeah, that show is still going on right now. Which, uh... Because, like, I thought the, uh, original director of the show... He dead. Stop. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he had to stop because... <laughs> <laughs> forceful... Okay, shit. Forceful I'm retirement. Forcibly stop. Yeah, forceful retirement. Mm-hmm. And, like, who's directing it now? But, like, apparently some people don't like the new Spongebob. Oh. It looks so weird. There was one that made me chuckle. It was, like, um, Squidward and, uh, what the, what's the dude's name? He's the one from the episode where the, he has the pickles underneath his tongue. It was, like, Dad's Oh. Movie. Oh, that dude where he orders, like, I'm on a number nine. Like, yeah. what is that coffee bottle again? Uh, yeah. number nine large. <laughs> but anyway, they were on, like, a- they were on a bus, and they had to watch this woman's baby boy. I guess she went up to go use the bathroom, and they kept arguing over the- the- having the window open. They're like, no, the baby wants the window open. No, he wants it closed. And then they had it open, the baby flew out, and they were like- <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, his name's Big Smoke. Big- yeah. And then, uh- <laughs> Wait, Big Smoke? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was he not said, expecting I'll have you. two number nines, a number nine large, a number six of picture <laughs> dip, and a number seven, two number 45s, one yeah. of cheese, and a large soda. That's it, yeah, yeah. 
And then like the mother comes back and she's like, wait, where's my baby? And they're like, do you really want to know? And they open the window, <laughs> she flies out and their eyes, and they're just like, I hope she finds her baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Yeah, that's a Spongebob I know. <laughs> I gotta see if I can find that later. It made me cackle. I was like, this is a new Spongebob episode? <laughs> Alright, anyway. Author's note. Hey guys, I just want to ask if, the, if if you like these short stories, your opinion will help out. Thank you. All right. These are short stories? I guess. I don't know. I thought there was like a Spongebob reader number two. I don't know, man. It's something... <laughs> All right. This is evidence Chapter that Don is dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead, actually... and we have killed him. What's the wait? What's the thing that people say? Well, you think God stays in heaven because He's afraid about what He's made? Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot what that quote was from, but that's definitely I remember that. All right, Chapter Four: mm -hmm. Escalating Love. As you can see, my life is a total mess. Two years ago, I got one change to tell the person I love that I love them, and I screw up by running as fast as I can. No texts from any of them, including Spongebob, for two years. That says a lot, doesn't it? I but really you got mean two years to fix it? <laughs> That's a pretty long period. Yeah, you're like, I think I, think I should probably give them a ring, huh? <laughs> Maybe there were like two sponge years. You know how there's like dog ears? Yeah. Two sponge ears. Yeah, it's been like five minutes. Wait, two sponge ears? That'd be like a hundred years. <laughs> yeah. I really gotta fix this mess. The only way is to go back to Beginny Bottom and hear SpongeBob's side to the story. He may turn me down, but at least I don't have to live life in fear and look over my shoulder all the time. I said aloud. You make it sound like she's part of the- like, she fucked with the wrong guy and she's gonna get killed from the Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Mafia's after her. I then walked over to the framed picture in my room with Spongebob and myself, taking a silly face selfie. I will fix this mess up for the both of us, Spongebob. I grabbed the yellow dress and put it on whilst chuckling my- I chucking my other clothes on the bed in a hurry. A yellow dress? Okay. Hold on. First of all, I've never seen anyone in a yellow dress. I thought those looked weird. Yeah, yellow dresses are forbidden. What's your take on yellow dresses? I never had one. Exactly. I've seen them made. I grabbed my... Yeah, I see them made. I never see anyone wear them, though. Hmm. I grabbed my bags and packed some fresh clothes and essential objects. I booked the next plane going to Bikini Bottom as soon as possible and hired a taxi to take me to the airport. When the cab arrived, I hopped inside as it drove me away to the airport in a jiffy. I then paid the driver what I owed him and hopped out. I ran into the airport whilst rapidly searching for the dust to change my bags in. This author really likes to use the word whilst. Really? Whilst. It's like repeated like... Maybe Nine that, or ten times. Maybe that was the vocab word for the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, vocab word for the day. You're in a hurry, miss, the lady at the counter said with a million dollar smile. Darn tootin', yes. I gotta win myself a sponge, I chirped. The lady looked at me as like I was some crazy alien, but then shrugged as she had seek she had to seek another client. I boarded the plane without any further delays. I'm coming, square pants, I whispered. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm coming, square pants, I whispered. <laughs> I could be taken out of context, anyways. The journey was about seven hours, but time flew as I was planning on what I had to say to the sponge. Finally, I found the right word to say to the invertebrate. I landed in Bikini Bottom at around 6.22 p.m. And called for a cab to drop me off. <laughs> I was like, I'll be specific. Sorry, I just like thought about it. Now, like, we're a mammal. We just boarded like an actual plane. So I'm guessing there's like other humans. And then the, the, the plane just fucking skydived into the ocean. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. That was They'd a visual probably animate. They would animate it very well, probably. Yeah. 
I landed in Bikini Bottom at around 6.22 p.m. and called for a cab to drop me off to Spongebob. So, where to, ma'am? The cab driver asked me. To 124 Con Street, I replied. Wait a sec. That's Squarepants residence. Oh, he went out to Jellyfish Field today. I just spoke to him. The cab driven the cab driver told me. Okay then, take me to Jellyfish Field. And make it snappy, I chirped. Yes, ma'am, he positively said. As he pulled up as we pulled up to Jellyfish Fields, there was no sign of anybody. But I got out of the cab anyway. I turned around to hand the cab driver his fee. Here you go, my fine gentleman. I politely handed the cab driver a $10 bill. No, that's okay, ma'am. Any friend of Spongebob is a friend of mine. He smiled. Well, gee, thanks, Mr... Please, call me Scott. Gee, thanks, Scott. You're a pal. Just doing my job, ma'am. He said, whilst slowly driving off. See, he used it again, whilst. <laughs> <laughs> I turned around to see jellyfish fields, empty. The sky was black and the stars were out. It was cold considering I wasn't wearing a jacket. I walked around the field to see if Spongebob was jellyfishing, but there was no sign of him. Just a light breeze that went through my skirt and a few jellyfish here and there. I thought about Spongebob and how he was so good at comforting me. If he was here right now, then he would be making me feel warm and snug. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> Bonk. I felt the lock on my behind, b behind, and I turned around to see what it was. Uh, sorry, ma'am, I didn't see you there. A short yellow, a short little yellow sea creature spoke. SpongeBob! I shouted as I saw his big blue eyes. As soon as he realized me, he blushed whilst remembering the airport incident two years ago. I blushed back. What are you doing here? Spongebob asked. Um, I wanted to see you, I replied, not knowing what his reaction would be like. Oh, that's nice. Is there anything you want to talk about? He asked me. Actually, there is, I said. Okay, let's go sit over there. There's a very... <laughs> <sighs> I just heard the biggest bonk. <laughs> okay, let's go sit over there. It's a very nice hill where you have a magnificent, magnificent view, he advised. Okay, Spongebob, you'll be my guide, I replied. He giggled at that remark and sat me down. Wait, before you start, aren't you cold? He looked at my bare arms and legs. Yeah, but... I don't have a jacket, I sighed. You can share mine. Don't worry, he said optimistically. <laughs> I smiled and nodded, allowing him to take his jacket off and wrap it around my shoulders and waist. Thanks, SpongeBob. The thing I wanted to talk about was the um, incident that happened two years ago. All right, he said. I want you to know that I'm sorry I kissed you like that. I'm sorry I ran away leaving you dumbfounded. You must hate me. I shivered as I hugged him. Tears melted from my eyes and my makeup was smudged. You don't have to you don't have to be sorry about it. I don't hate you. You're one of my greatest friends. Bunch pop cuddled me back. <laughs> <sighs> really? I whispered. Sure. Remember the time we caught a rare jellyfish and it stung Squidward like crazy? Spongebob giggled, making me giggle. I sure do. And the time where we had a barbecue to celebrate your birthday? I smiled. Yeah, that was the greatest birthday ever, thanks to you. Thanks for going to all the effort and making me a barbecue for me. He said whilst hugging me tighter. I blushed and hugged him tighter as well. You're welcome. But what did you do for me? What you did for me was way more special. I can't believe you made a special request on BBFM for me. I'm sorry I didn't thank you earlier. Oh, 
You actually heard the request? I thought no one would hear it. Well, I'm glad you liked it. He blushed. Yeah, we have had very special times together. I guess that's why I... 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 I love... Love me. He finished me. Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> Do I send someone over to check on your mental health? <laughs> I'm, I'm regretting choosing this now, but, um, I'm sure this won't haunt me. Is that, is that your, like, are you slamming your, like, your arm or hand against your desk or some shit? Uh, I'm, I'm slamming my mouse, because I'm using it to scroll. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. The main thing that I wanted to ask you about was, uh, do you love me too? I shook Will's I uh, was blushing. <laughs> please read this for me, please. <laughs> please just read the rest of it. Alright. Well, <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> well, when you kissed me back and I was actually flattered when you ran off, I wanted to tell you that, that, some of said with a red <laughs> that you hate me and never want to see me again. I filled in. Wow, this is like self different This is like one of those pick me boys. Like, you don't like me because I'm ugly. No one wants to deal with me. Anyway. No one understands me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> this is more emo than pick me boy. <laughs> that I love you. I love you too, he said, with some jumping onto me. His sudden jump caused me to lie down on the green grass. Wits. He was sitting just below <laughs> my eye uh, <laughs> chest. Just below what? Chest. We both looked just at below each below what? The chest, alright? We both just looked at- Just below what? Do you want to read this? Just below what? <laughs> we both looked at each other's eyes to just find the spark. Just below what? Such a crappy I see why you slammed your mouth against your dad. <laughs> so Joe grabbed me and kissed my lips. His his kiss was hot and furious. It's sweet and <laughs> now yep, it's sweet and what? The, now this is definitely worth the wait. I Brad is like <laughs> you didn't read it. Okay, <laughs> I'm having a stroke. <laughs> it certainly was. SpongeBob was shooting my ear. Hmm. 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 We both kissed in unison. How else do you? Kiss the army, uh, showing the love <laughs> and gratitude towards one another. I love you, SpongeBob. I whispered in the cool atmosphere of the jellyfish fields. I want to kill you right now. <laughs> the fact that made it worse was there was like this SpongeBob background music playing in the background, and I was just like reading this, and it was it was the worst. <laughs> it just made me feel in character, and I'm like, no, this feels wrong. I would ask how you feel about it, but I think I know the answer to that question. Yes. <laughs> you hated it. The answer is yes to every question you ask. Yeah. Did you love it? Fuck. <laughs> well, it's, it's not like it was bad, it's just we're- we don't really like Spongebob that much. If you, like- yeah, and honestly, if you- Replace Spongebob's character with, like, Spongebob and some random extra reader. It wouldn't be bad. Yeah. I think I, I want to commit genocide now. <laughs> 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 well, I'll, I'll have this link down below in the description. They did a sequel, so if you like this book, you can read more of their content if you want to. Viewer discretion give, advised. I'm never giving you free will ever again. I can't wait to get the wheel again. You, you I, what? I can't Ugh. wait for it to land on me. Yeah, you could pick the Harvey X Reader because that that story was getting good. You could have picked the Cold Res one. No, I'm gonna. You I'm gonna anything. pick some. <laughs> you think I'm gonna pick the Cold Res one? Come on now. You could have picked the Scooby Doo one again, and I would have been like, "That's really good, dude." <laughs> but... Hey, you know what? I was actually thinking about the Scooby Doo one, but it's already on the wheel, right? Yeah. 
Wait, you can still be on the wheel. I picked stuff that's from the wheel before. That's because you pick you put Zozon on there, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I called out. Okay. Anyway, anyway. I guess we should pull up the wheel, huh? <laughs> pull it up. Yeah. Oh, man, uh, background music on. It's really <laughs> up. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Yes. It was it was fucked either way. I was like waiting if it landed on the first one, but then I was like, hold on, we're fucked either way. Yeah, we're we're screwed. No matter what we do in life, it was like it's gonna be Minecraft on the list. Yeah. Uh, All right, Hero Brian extra. Here we go. What? The last one was so bad, and they made it a sequel. It was so good. Oh, I love so it. Good. I love Hero Brian. <laughs> Woo! I don't. Know. I don't even know who you are anymore. It makes two of us. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I guess. I guess. Thank you for joining. Uh, I don't know how thankful I am after this, but. My respect has gone down a little bit. Honestly, writing-wise, the SpongeBob reader wasn't bad. It yeah. was just... I was just cringing because my childhood was SpongeBob. Yeah. But, well, you did this to yourself. You, you self-sabotaged yourself. Fine, fine, I admit it. I admit it. Alrighty, well, I guess... In the next one, next time you see Minho... I'll be reading we'll be reading more hero brand next year, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Here we go. Yay! Bye! Yeah.